We found that one of the easiest ways to teach kids how to do Maya math is to use sticks and stones. Actually being able to manipulate them with their hands helps them really understand the concept. So, each stone is worth one and each bar is worth five. So a bar and one would be six. If we add a few more, eight. But now if we add two more, so we have five stones, we would need to replace the five stones with a bar. So two bars equaling 10. Another bar, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now the Maya system is a 20 base system. So whereas we, when we come to uh, 10, we put a zero in the ones column and a one in the tens column, Maya had a 20 base system. Now kids have a little hard time getting their heads around this, so that we find a simple tool for showing them how to do that is to make a grid system that outlines the ones, the twenties, and the next place value up the four hundreds. So how does this work? So if we were to place our 19 in the ones column, so we have our three bars for 15, our four stones, so we have 19. If we were to add one stone, we would turn these five stones into a bar. And when we have four bars, what we need to do is get rid of the four bars, replace that with a one into the 20 columns. But since we have an empty space here, just the way we would put a zero to hold the place in our system, we would put a shell in the ones to show that we had zero ones and we had 120. So let's look at another number, like say 37. We would have 120, 25, 30, 35, and two ones. So we have 37, the combination of 20 plus 17. Now, I think we've sort of got the basic how the numbers work. Let's look at some simple uh, addition. And again, it's just a question of counting the sticks and stones. So let's add two small numbers together. For example, let's take 12 plus 5. In a Maya way, all we have to do is merely push these together, and now we have 15, 16, 17. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's try a little bit bigger number. Let's take that 17 and add 19 to it. So we have three bars, four stones here, three bars, two stones here. So to add 17 plus 19, again, like we did before, we just push these together and then simplify the sticks and stones. So every time we have five stones, one, two, three, four, five, we take those out and replace them with a stick. And every time we have four sticks, one, two, three, four, we take those out and put a stone in the twenties place. So what we have here as our addition is 20 plus 30, five, six, so 36. And you don't really have to think about it. I think the more the kids kind of try to intellectualize it and transfer our, their system into our system, it becomes more complicated. The simple thing is to remember it. Each five stones, replace it with a bar, and when you have four bars, take them out and put a stone up there. So let's try adding two really large numbers and see how easy it is to do Maya math. So in the ones, let's do a bar, five, 10, 11, 12, 12 ones. Now a bar in the twenties area, that means five times 20. So one bar is 100. Another bar would be 200, 220, 240. Now let's add some more in the 400s column. So a bar in the 400s area would be five times 400. So that would be 2000. Another 2000 for 4000, 4400, 4800. Now in this column, we'll be adding this number to the number that we create here. So let's add three bars, 15, 
16, 17, 18 ones. And let's put three bars in here. So that would be 300, 300, and 20, 40, 60, 80. And then let's add another bar up here. So that would be five times 400, 2,000, 2,400. And that's what we did before. We're just gonna push these together and simplify. So let's move each into their boxes. Now, so what we're going to do every time we have one, two, three, four, five stones, we'll replace that by a bar. Every time we have four bars, one, two, three, four, we get rid of those and put a stone above. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, replace with a bar. Four bars, one, two, three, four, we put a stone up here. And now, voila, we've added those two big numbers together without really having to think about it. So what do we have here? 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 6,400, 6,800, 7,200, 7,600, 7,600, 7,700, 7,800, 7,840, 7,850. You know, it's a much more difficult to take the Maya numbers and translate them into our number system than it is actually to add the numbers together themselves. So what we came up here, as the Maya would see it, as 19 bundles of 400, 12 bundles of 20, and 10 ones. Or in our terminology, 7,850. We've done addition now. Let's try subtraction. It's just as easy. Now, let's start with some really simple numbers first. Let's take 8. Five, six, seven, eight, eight minus two. So this is our, gonna be our bigger number in this column and our smaller number here. For subtraction, basically we take away from this column what we've got in this column. So if we're gonna take two from eight, all we do is take like for like from each column. So eight minus two is of course six. Now, let's try something that just that little bit more complicated. 5 plus 5, 10, so 10 minus 2. Now here we have a situation where we've got two stones and no stones here. So what we need to do is to trade a bar in for five stones. And now we can take two from each side. So 2 minus 10, or 10 minus 2 is 8. <laughs> okay. Now let's look at place values so we have to borrow. Let's uh, set up, let's see, we're going to take 20, 32, so 120, a 10, 32, minus 19. So five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have 32 minus 19. Of course, we have nothing here to subtract from there, so we're fine on this level. Now, in this situation, we can take away a stick. We can take away a stick from each side, and we can take two stones. But we are still left with seven on this side and nothing to take away here. So what we need to do is to basically borrow from here. So we take this and we trade it in for our four sticks which would be the equivalent of 20. And then we're gonna trade one of these sticks in for our five stones. And now we can take a stick from each side and two stones from each side. So we have the answer is 32 minus 19 is 13. So that was pretty easy. Let's try something a little harder. Let's do subtract two large numbers from each other. So let's start with, so five times 400, so that would be 2,000. And let's add 400 plus 400 plus 400 plus 400, so that'd be 
3,600 up there. Let's add another bar here for 100. And then let's put a bar and a couple stones down here. So that's a total of 3,707. And then let's see what we've got here. Let's put 2,400, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60. And then let's add 12 to that. So we got in this column 3,707, and we're going to subtract 2,672 from that. And again, what we're going to do is take away from this column what we've got in this column. So here we take a stone each, and we take a stick each. Now we can take a stick each from there, but we've got something here, so we need to borrow from there. So we'll take one of these stones, and we're going to cash it in for four sticks. And we need stones, so we have to cash one of those in for five stones. So now we can take our three stones away from each side and a stick from each side. Same thing here, we can take a stick each. We can take two stones away, but we're left with a stick here. So we're gonna to need to trade one of these in for four sticks down here. And now we can take a stick from each side and voila, we have our answer. We have two bundles of 800. We have 11 20s or 100, 220. And we have 15 ones. So what does that mean <laughs> in our number? So that would be 800, 900, 1,020, 1,035. So that's my math. It's simple and it's fun. All you need are some sticks, some stones, and some shells. And remember, every five stones makes a bar. And when you have four bars, you move one stone up a column. Because the place values go from bottom up, other from left to right. Other